Good morning. Thank you for staying with us. This is PLOS TV Africa and welcome to Off the Press where we get to look at the headlines in our national dailies with in-depth review and analysis by our in-studio guests. And joining me in the studio this morning is a public affairs analyst, Alexa Wilkos, and also Lulu Elegbe, who is also a public affairs analyst. Thank you, gentlemen of the press, for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Right, let's take a look at the Nation newspaper this morning. The headlines in the Nation newspaper, Chopper shot 250 killed in police bandit forest battle. And can Islamic councils disagree on killings? Mackinday seeks out of court settlement with sacked chairman. And Igalo in that sport, proud to be first Nigerian Man U player. Jonathan fired me for probing oil racketeer, says ex EFCC chair. Can Islamic Council disagree on killings? Now, this comes on the heels of a statement that I'm credited to President Mohamed Buhari, where he said um, the most effective victims, 90% of them, are Muslims. And there's been a back and forth between Khan and an Islamic group. What, what, what's your reaction to this, Lulu? Let me start with you. Um, I think it's unfortunate that we can't seem to agree that a killing is a killing. It doesn't matter if it's Christians, if it's Muslims, if it's Igbos or Hausas. Or, what difference does it make? People are dying. So what, if it's 90% Christian or 10% Muslim, who cares? And, and coming from the president, why would exactly. you have I don't expected such a comment? I don't understand why that's relevant. The, the, the issue is that people are dying and this need, it needs to stop. I'm not sure why the religion or the ethnicity of the victims is an issue here. Mm. I, I mean, I, I, I get what the argument they are having about um, Khan saying their members are being targeted and all those things. But like you said, the presidency should not be the one saying that um, the percentage of this are from this religion. That should not be coming from the presidency. Yeah. It's, it's and ridiculous. for a president who's so much a, a proponent of hate speech, people with hate speech being, being, um, being, being dealt with, would you say, Alexa, would you say the statement by the president is unexpected and it's capable of provocation? No, no. As I it expect is. him to say it. Why? I'm very, very in support of the president because mm. I think he's getting too much of Khan. I like what my brother said. You see, Khan, I'm a Christian, but Khan has become a, 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 an opposition party since the advent of this government. And so Khan will always tear up all kinds of uh, 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 controversy. Look, killing is killing. It doesn't matter who uh, the, the killing has no coloration of religion or tribe or anything. People, pe I mean, we, we have a, a, a program on our hand, we have a problem on our hand that needed everybody to come together to solve. And not whenever Muslims are killed, and that, and that is typical of Khan. Whenever a mosque are bombed, whenever a, a Muslims are, you see, can keep quiet. And in fact, either, yeah. some of them go to their church and rejoice. And, and I'm telling you the, the, the gospel truth. And then the day it is against a Christian, you see, can come up and start shouting, Christians are targeted. Who, who knows, does the bullet know the target? Criminals are criminals all over the place. And the criminals are trying to separate us with religion, with tribe, and everything. And we are falling in for it. And a body like Khan, that's supposed to be the salt of the earth. It's not the body that is now, is, uh, uh, I mean, expanding what the criminals are, are, are throwing at us. Look, let us face the fact. This is in the north. And the north is populated more by the Muslims. So, naturally, who will be more affected? It's not the Muslims. So, so, you, so you are agreeing with the, totally with the comment agree of the with president, the president that 90%. That he needs to it is, react. It is true. He yeah, needs to true. react to that, some things. If we're being honest, it yes. is true. Because they are the... They, my, it's true that most of the victims are Muslims. It, it is true. There, there's no there's no point Percent, arguing no, that. No percentage about it, yes. There's no point arguing that. But my issue is that the presidency should not be the one saying this is Muslim, this is Christian. Yes. That should not be coming from them. That's what my issue is. Because, I mean, people, if a if hundred people die, why are we why are we bothered about okay out of that hundred is twenty Christians? Why is that important? Why because that it, seems, it seems the security of life is being politi politicized that, and, 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 and is, drawn and, along and, religion and, and, lines. And, and instead of speaking, can, I think I, I even praise the Muslims. They are they are restrained. I'm a Christian. I'm from the south. I'm a Christian. The Muslims and the north they're being restrained to some of the provocations, provocation of Khan and their cohorts. So Khan has become a political uh, a tool. In destabilizing this government, you and think for so? me, it's unfortunate. I feel so, feel strongly so, oh. and I think they should. They need to roll themselves back in. Look at what happened in the southeast. Look at what happened everywhere, and people are now using religion 
to even create, create more. look at the southeast today everything that happens in the southeast it is because it is christian it is muslim it's either catholic it's either anglican even among the christian food it's either catholic it's either anglican it's either methodist it's pentecostal so there is that disunity and can't you rein themselves in enough of all this nonsense i call it around nonsense okay now let's put on the case of a marking day who is taking an out of court settlement with a sack um, chairman, do, do you smell? Is it, do you smell a rat here? I mean, Lulu. Not really. Okay. Um, I think it's just to reduce the tension, to be honest. Because if 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 it stays in court, for example, God knows it, it's. First of all, if it goes to court, it's going to exceed his term as governor mm -hmm. because we all know that the wheels of justice move very very slowly in Nigeria. So if you're trying to. Um, if you're trying to get to a point where you're telling these people, okay, let's have a conversation, let's discuss this, let's find a way of settling this without having to go that route. Because going that route, there's an animosity that comes with it. And with that animosity comes possible political consequences for him as governor as well, or for the PDP in the state. So it makes sense that he wants to um, settle this out of court. A, it's yes. quicker. B, um, any issues or animosities or anything can be cleared up during okay. during that process. So it, it makes sense to me, I think. Uh, Alexa, any I agree with sensibility, but again, maybe his options are, are, are limited. Yeah. At this point, his options are limited yes. because really, it shouldn't have happened. You see, this idea of uh, we all want, we, we, I mean, the governors are always saying that they are autonomous and the, the state, and then the local government has also give back, the country has give back to the state and local government. The local government has give that, they could also give pass to you. Not want to stay for it. The moment any governor comes in, if from the opposition he just clears them, yeah. which is which is which is lawless. And the Supreme Court has put in his foot down on this matter now. And I'm surprised that Shane McKinney, a young man that's supposed to set the pace, no matter if it is painful or what, that's supposed to set the pace. He's in his. He's, I'm not. I'm not sure he's up to 50 according to his and age. And he's doing so great for a state aside from the situation. He feels to be doing so great. He feels to be doing so great. Well, let's give it, give it to him. Yes. There is always media propaganda <laughs> against certain things. I live in. I go to Ibadan every other time, but it's okay. But so in this matter, why are you driving away elected people? You can give job for the, to your own boys. They have like three years to finish. They will, yeah, you, you, you will outlive their tenure. Okay. Even through persuasions and through negotiations, yeah. you can win them over to your side. Okay. So what? So what's all the hello balu? So right, I think his options are limited, and the, the the earlier he comes to, uh, they get this through, and let the state begin to run. All right. Let's look at the Punch newspaper. The headline: The Punch newspaper. Seventy-four parties lose registration, set to battle INEC in court, and INEC proscribes seventy-four political parties. And this seems to be major across all the headlines. Fifteen die of strange epidemic outbreak in Benue, and also ministers, agencies working at cross purposes and the headlines of the punch newspaper 74 parties lose registration set to battle INEC in court alexa let's let's start with you your thoughts i think i already know what um what what way to lose is going to tilt in this matter yes no, i think uh, i think uh, it's time that we begin to sanitize the electoral system it's too it's too uh, the indiscipline there is too much you see nigeria is one place that if you give a mile if you give an inch they take a mile you know, because you hear all kinds of funny names and funny... Yes, it's a freedom of association. Yes, you, you are allowed to be associated. But there's also regulation because the body dealing with you is also having uh, its powers to deal in a certain way. Look at our last uh, ballot, ballot paper. It's almost like... Uh, in, even newspapers are not as big as our ballot paper these days. And at the end of the day, in the national pool, a party will score 1,000 and something. In the national pool, not... not, a, not I'm not talking of a world election. I'm talking of a national election. So people just begin to form patterns. These parties were formed when uh, INEC was funding them. Now, INEC is no longer funding. So what are you funding? Maybe they fund them so that, no, they formed them so that they could align. At the end of the day, they say, okay, we are endorsing a candidate. But, so but, the, but, the isn't, there, is, but isn't there a possibility that the qualitative representation we're looking for could come from, from these unknown but parties? They have not, it has not come. It hasn't come. Up till now, how many has come? It's a process. For most of them, we only got to know about I them believe, in just the last I believe, election. I believe, Unlike I, the PDP I, and the I, APC, no, they I have been strongly. in existence I for a while. That yeah. If you want to be a party of notes, yeah. you don't have the national. You have you don't have the muscle for a national spread. Start with a ward. Start with the local government. Start with a constituency. Get your party strong in a constituency. Take a constituency and say we are winning this constituency. 
If you win a constituency in the national election, which is part of the requirement of INEC, you will never be registered if you maintain your particular seat in a constituency. But you've not, you have not even started sitting down as a baby. You now want to jump, uh, you, want, you now want to go uh, 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 challenge okay, Ustembul okay, okay. in no, 100 no, meters. Any uh, different, every di Come different on. opinion from that of no, Alexia. No, I mean, I agree yeah. with I think that was my... That yes, was that was exactly a thought. Mean, well. Are you, changing, are you <laughs> yeah. changing your stance on no, that? No, no, no. Okay. I agree with him 100%. It, oh. it, because it, we need to sanitize it. I agree with yeah. that. This idea that before elections, you see a rush to register political parties. Again, I think the cynic in me believes part of it has to do with this funding issue. People just come up and... and I mean, yes, there's freedom of association, there's yeah. freedom of all that, but when we have, when we have um, going into an election, over 100 political parties contesting, and you know that most, most of them will not get anywhere, in those elections, and really, what is the point? It, okay. It's pointless in my opinion. And lastly, let's take a look at the Guardian newspaper this morning. Confusion of a Senate B to review constitution and how attempt to bomb Lagos was foiled. Sultan warns on 50,000 often kid, often kid, and core members for Duke of Edinburgh Award. Buhari, coronavirus, others threaten Nigeria's economy. Confusion over Senate's bid to review constitution, if we can, in just a few. And many people, we all know there's been a clamor for our constitution, the 99 constitution, uh, to be reviewed and amended. I'm even tired of this review and amended. <laughs> Sincerely, I've lost count of how many committees, how many processes, at the end of the year, does it take us to? So I think um, this, maybe it has become a money, a money spinning uh, 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 budget, uh, I mean, for, for a lot of people. So every assembly, life of assembly, assembly, we started a committee to review constitution. At the end of the day, too much money voted for it, no work done. You see, it's time we start treating this country as, as the kind of attention it deserves. If we need to amend constitution, this are not, we don't need all these long stories and everything. Yes, it's Kumba to amend the constitution. But with determination, with sitting down, what I do you need to amend? Get the inputs and in the space of six months, get it done and get the state as well. Send to self, if they are passed it, send to the president for We have had too much of every life, every, every national assembly life uh, circle will always want to make constitution. So, so sincerely, Nigerians should be tired of right. all that story. Do you, finally, make sense do you to this me. finally? No, I think it's right because yeah. we've, had, we've seen this constitution. We've, we've been, I think we've been talking about it for over a decade now. Mm -hmm. They just, it just seems to be a recurring conversation, but nothing ever really happens. I think the closest we ever came to anything happening was when we had this doctrine of uh, necessity, necessity introduced during the Yaradua um, illness issue. Yeah. But beyond that, it's, it, it's just these conversations that keep happening and nothing, nothing really changes. Thank you, Lulu Elegbe, political analyst, and also Alester Wilcox for your contribution this morning. It's my pleasure. And that's all we can take on of the press this morning. This is Plus TV Africa. Do stay with us. I am Benny Ark.